टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स इट ऑल्सो गिव्स मी ग्रेट प्लेजर डैट ऑन द ओकेशन ऑफ दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस वी हैव एमंग अस द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ यूनेस्को एंड द चेयरमैन एंड ए मेंबर ऑफ द एग्जीक्यूटिव बोर्ड देयर पार्टिसिपेशन विल इनेबल देम टू अप्रिसिएट द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड एस्पिरेशंस ऑफ ए रीजन वेयर मोर देन हाफ ऑफ मैन काइंड लिव्स इट विल ऑल्सो गिव द न्यू डायरेक्टर जनरल ए डीपर इनसाइट इन टू द टास्क विच अवेट द ऑर्गनाइजेशन इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द प्रपोजल टू सेटअप नेशनल कमीशंस इन मेंबर स्टेट्स इज टू बी कमांडेड फॉर मेनी रीजन्स दिस हैज रिजल्टेड इन द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ए परमानेंट एजेंसी फॉर द वर्किंग आउट ऑफ यूनेस्कोज आइडियाज एट मेनी लेवल्स वाइल द मेंबरशिप ऑफ यूनेस्को इज कन्फाइंड ओनली टू स्टेट्स इट इज ओवियस डैट इट्स वर्क मस्ट बी कैरीड आउट एमंग द पीपल द नेशनल कमीशन विथ इट्स क्लोज एसोसिएशन विथ वेरियस नन ऑफिशियल एजेंसीज प्रोवाइड्स ए प्लेटफॉर्म टू डिसेमिनेट यूनेस्कोस प्रोग्राम्स इन मेनी वेज बन मे इन फैक्ट से डैट यूनेस्कोस वर्क इज डिलीगेटेड टू दीज नेशनल कमीशंस टू माई माइंड द मेन पर्पज ऑफ सेटिंग अप द नेशनल कमीशंस वॉज ऑन द वन हैंड to make unesco conscious of the people's needs and on the other to make the people conscious of unesco's functions and purposes the national commissions are therefore the proper agencies to spread unesco's ideas and objectives among the people ban may in fact go so far as to say that unesco is active only if the national commissions are active similarly the national commissions can function properly only if unesco is active if we keep this test before us we have to admit that the national commissions have not always been as effective as we would wish them to be i am not referring to the united states or some of the european countries for i have no direct knowledge of the activities of the national commissions in these areas so far as the eastern countries are concerned by and large they have not yet fulfilled what be expected of them the commissions have been set up offices opened and staff employed but they have not yet made their influence felt in their own countries nor have they reflected adequately their points of view in framing unesco's general program this is the feeling i have in respect of the indian national commission though our foreign friends may think otherwise it is therefore necessary for us to devise methods by which national commissions may be activized apart from the desire to have representatives of neighboring countries among us this is one of the main reasons why we have invited fraternal delegates from sister nations it is our purpose and hope that 
दियर एसोसिएशन में क्रिएट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी वेयर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द एशियन एंड अफ्रीकन नेशनल कमीशंस में मीट एंड कंसीडर वाई मोर प्रोग्रेस वाज नॉट अचीव्ड सच डिस्कशंस विल आल्सो हेल्प ऑल ऑफ अस टू डिफाइन मोर शार्पली द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ यूनेस्को एंड एडवाइज इट ऑन द प्रोग्राम्स विच आर नेसेसरी टू फुलफिल दियर ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द ईस्ट I wish in this connection to place before the conference some important issues which to my mind have prevented a more effective implementation of UNESCO's ideals and programs my purpose is to express the feelings of my country and other countries in the east fully and frankly there is no suggestion of complaint in what i am going to say in the brotherhood of unesco there must be any occasion for mutual recrimination it is however necessary that we understand one another clearly and fully for without such understanding we cannot cooperate in the achievement of our common goal the first thing i want to say is that there is a feeling throughout the east that the un and its specialized agencies have not yet given to the east the attention which it can rightfully claim the eastern nations feel that while in theory they are recognized as equal partners in the united nations the practice does not always conform to the theory they feel that the central offices of the un and allied agencies do not fully understand their problems and needs so long as there is this feeling it will be difficult to create whole hearted enthusiasm for the un and unesco in these regions one of the reasons for such a feeling in the east is its recollections of the attitude which developed in the west in the 18th century two things happened simultaneously in that period on the one hand the eastern countries reached the lowest depths of depression and on the other a new impulse to progress and advancement swept throughout europe and america the inevitable result of these developments was that the western nations divided the world into two categories there was one side the free and superior world of the western peoples and on the other the world of inferior and subject nations in asia and africa of the world 